ministry. One Guinness, four beef patty, one cream soda, one cola champagne, one ginger beer. I don't talk. I have to put in the number because here it comes. Gotcha. Wow, you know what dragon stout is? To me, of course. <laughs> Can I try the red stripe, um, the lemon, or the sorry, which one tastes better? Never had the lemon. Yeah. Alright, try the red stripe, sorry. It doesn't taste right. How much beer. for it? Eight. Give me a second. They don't taste like beer? It all tastes really It's not that strong. I'm finally trying red stripes. Sorry, y'all. Y'all you Jamaican people can't show out on me. Okay? Sunscreen goes on again, the face. Thing, I didn't empty it like I should have. <clears throat> Do it today. Do it's it a beautiful tomorrow. morning, Do guys. It tastes good. Malibu. It's 8 o'clock now. Sip but easy. Enjoy Malibu responsibly. Malibu Caribbean Rum with Coconut cool. Liqueur. 21 to 24 percent alcohol by Let's volume. Hope. Copyright 2022. Pernod Ricard, USA, New York, New York. Happy's going to get us some water. Oh, you can go get it. <laughs> June! Yes! Big tune, y'all. Today, we are taking a ride across the Ravenel Bridge. So come on with us. It's about minutes to eight, maybe eight o'clock. So the sun's a bit out, but it's a nice cool breeze. So we're gonna take our bikes and hit the bridge. So come with us, take a nice cool ride, get some exercise at the same time. See you soon. Shortcut. <laughs> the incline is already kicking my butt, guys. Boy. Babe, I am. Maybe my gears are messed up. Where is your pocket? You're just starting, miss. Boy. <laughs> you guys. Struggling. I haven't even made it a quarter of a mile, and the struggle is real. Okay, there it is. The way your legs was, it's like you gotta come up and go down, come up and go down. So now you're just pushing down on it. I've been down low on my luck, taking every shot, but I can't give up. Oh, I can't see too far away. 
So yeah, guys, we still here. We almost to the middle of the bridge. Wifey's back there struggling a little bit. But it's a nice, cool ride, man. It's hot, but it's very breezy, which is naturally expected being up this high on the bridge. So, as you can see, I'm not on the sweat yet. But it's fun. So, you guys ain't taking, enjoying taking in the scenes um, and being happy that you're home on your couch and don't actually have to ride this bridge with us. You know what I mean? But that's what we're here for. So, come on, let's go. I've got my head And maybe All the bricks were falling down To pave my way To a brighter day And lately I've been stuck inside Wanna feel the sunshine One last time oh. the end of the bridge, guys Hey, guys, so yeah We made it to the bottom of the bridge It was fun, there's a lot of bikers out here A lot of joggers, a lot of walkers But that's what people do You know, it's a Sunday morning like I say, it's hot, but it's not too hot. I'm in the bridge, you definitely get a breeze. So we made it to the bottom, we're gonna take a quick break, catch us off, and then we go right back up. gone for a minute because that bike ride took me out came back from bike riding and then went straight to back to school shopping then went to Walmart and Walmart pissed me off <laughs> guys I am so tired of Walmart having one person in the return line and then we went to self-checkout and three of the five machines were broken so it was line after line after line for like just a handful of things um, and I was annoyed, but we had gone to Target before that and got super excited and got everything we needed, spent like two hours. And so Walmart was just kind of like the breaking point. So I came home, ate, fell asleep, and then I got up and started cooking um, rice and peas. And I'm about to fry the fish right now on the grill because you know, cooking in the house is just not a thing that we do anymore for fish, especially because it smells up the house. So, Hubby's here to help me because he's such a great husband. And I want to eat. He's such a great husband. And I want to eat. She'll tell you I can't eat if I don't help. Now, she didn't sit up here. <laughs> do you want to go upstairs and see if the wine is still there sure. from last night? <laughs> I bet you'd run to do that. season these well of course I wash them with vinegar um, I have salt black pepper and garlic powder onion powder on here and then this is like a cornmeal base that you use to fry it I'm just gonna use this to coat the fish and I got this cornmeal base from the fish market so. All right, so then you shake it off and I'm going to just drop that in. Celeste, do you like the fish? It's awesome. Are you going to try the eye? No. <laughs> Look at that bone. It has a bone in it. 
Luckily, these bowls are small too. You sense Quite the bone? Really Just Celeste, you want to tell Melissa where you're going for December? Where are you going? To the island. Are you really? Which yeah. one? St. John? And what are we going to do there? Best time of your life. <laughs> the time of your life. Well, you not want to come. No. Island, girl. Yeah, but it's right next to it. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's crazy. Babe took over on the grill for me. I'm hotter than sardines, you know? I just ate the last one over there. No, that's not. I made the salad. And she's putting Parmesan cheese. Okie dokie. I made rice and peas earlier, guys. So we're having rice and peas, fish, and salad. Trying to steal my first day of school shine? No. Am I? <laughs> oh, thank you. It's first day of school and it's Amara's birthday! Amara! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! <laughs> I usually make an age, a grade level breakfast and yeah, have we'll bake, we, we, to it. We bake seven grade as well. We don't need it all It needs a things. seven. This is the birthday morning message from Brave Enough. You listening up? Yeah. Birthday morning, first day of school morning. All right, Amara, since it's your birthday, I want you to open the book at any page and then hand it to me. Just open the book at any page. Morning. Don't look, just open it. <laughs> it says, when it comes to our children, we do not have the luxury of despair. If we rise, they will rise with us every time, no matter how many times we've fallen. 
remembering that is the most important work we can possibly do as parents. Do you agree? Yeah. I agree. Yeah? Go <laughs> <laughs> on. Huh? So the rules are open the book at any page and then hand it to me. Oh, this was from last year. <gasps> it's so pretty. But it's not my pencil case. What's that? It's my extra pencil case. It's so cute. You should be using that one. Oh, with my extra stuff in it. So I'm going to put this one in my locker. So that's the... Pens the case that should be walking around in your bag. No, mommy. All right, so you opened it here. Mm -hmm. The other side of fearlessness is fear. The other side of strength is fragility. The other side of power is faith. I'm <laughs> <laughs> confused right now. Are you confused? I well, I understand, but it's weird. It's weird. Well, I understand that it's like the opposite to everything. So you don't understand what it's saying? No, I do. Because I understand this part. Just I, nothing right there. So base, you understand this part? Wait, I understand the part where you said in the crack in the pavement is where you grow. Because that's like... So, alright. So I'll explain. It's basically saying on this side, right? It's saying when you... Kind of like today, it's the first day of 7th grade. Mm -hmm. Right? So your stories are written always the first of something right yes. and they wanted you to understand that you have to know where your story begin like what about today is going to make your life great what about today is going to instill fearlessness in you what about today is going to say hey I need to actually grow even if there is a concrete on the ground I can grow through the concrete so I can go I can grow through difficult times and it's just asking you to think about those moments. Yeah. That's it. I got it now. That's it. That's why it says, from what garden or pot or crack in the pavement did you grow? If it's a garden, then the soil is nice and you have all that's <laughs> available to you. Wait. No, listen, seriously. No, if it's a garden, then the soil is nice. Yeah, but think about it. If you're growing from a soil in a garden, you have all this room to spread your roots. Think about if you have a house, you have this, you have that, you have this. You can spread your roots and do everything that you want to do. If you're in a pot, you're a little bit confined, right? Because yeah. you can't spread your roots much further than the pot. But if you're in a concrete pavement, how are you going to spread your roots? And some plants and grass break through the concrete pavement, right? Yeah. So think about that struggle. Somebody in a garden, someone in a flower pot, someone in a concrete. All of them are different struggles, some better than others, but are you going to push through regardless? Do you get it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So For her, for her yeah. birthday. Yeah. That's my favorite. It's called the morning glory. Where's that carrot? Walk. Turn. Let me see the outfit. the style.
We're walking around with the birthday girl, guys. She wanted to go walking around town center. So that's what we're gonna do. It's been a rainy day in Charleston. So, but we're trying to tell her that it's showers of blessings. We're in Lush right now. girl's trip is over and I'm here with mommy and she asked for smoothie for breakfast so smoothie she shall get what flavor smoothie you get your mom uh, something, green. something green okay good morning she's looking at the menu to decide what she wants to have you guys, Tampa was super awesome. It sounds like I'm losing my voice, but it's because I'm so tired. Yes, Taylor? Amara redid her hair. Taylor's getting her hair done today. Yeah, Taylor just did grandma's hair. Oh, it tastes good. The passion and the mango is so good. Yeah. I got the mango one. You don't like yours? No, I like it. Can you but yours, Grandma? Yours is tastier. Yeah. Mm, that's good. shop in Orlando the salty and I'm already digging it this is the vanilla bean latte super good let's go see how the donuts are What does he like during Christmas time? Eggnog. Close. What looks like eggnog? Coquito. Oh, I it does was, it taste like coquito, babe? I thought it was called 
We got our breakfast. We got the guava and cheese. We got the coquita donut. The coquita donut is really, really good. On a scale of one to ten, how much you rate your coffee? My coffee was a ten. It was what I expected. Maple and brown sugar. That's what it's called. Here. I got the vanilla bean coffee. Is it good? Guava and cheese. Yeah, it tastes. The coquita tastes good. What you call it telling you when you use the black one? It tastes good. That's what I'm saying. Them don't know what guava is supposed to taste like. Them, I look at them and they taste guava, but they don't know it by itself. It tastes good. Can I have this thing? Um, sure. <laughs> 